Hey everyone, this is Brittany with Bingo Junk, and I'm here today to show you guys how to make this cute, it could be a card holder or an ephemera holder. I had a request by a mod in the group to make one of these. So I'm going to show you guys what it is exactly. It opens up, and on the inside, it has three little slots that can hold gift cards or some ephemera. You could also make pockets down here or up here. I didn't do that, but you could. I also didn't decorate the back of these. You also would probably want to do that. Um, I just made this to see if I can make it. I actually got this idea from, let me make, make sure I get this right, Liz the Paper Outpost. That's who it was, who I got this idea from. So I want to give her credit for this. So to get started, we're going to need an 8 and a half by 11 piece of paper, okay? And we're going to cut it down to 11 inches by 4 inches, okay? We're going to keep this to cover up the inside of it. Next, what we're going to do, it's pretty simple, as long as we follow the directions properly, is we are going to score this at three inches, at four and a quarter inches, at seven and a quarter, make sure I get that right, seven and a quarter, and eight and a half, okay? Now we're going to fold this, and this is going to be our outside of our ephemera holder. Okay, this is what it should look like, guys. Okay. Next, we're going to cut a 4x4 four four piece of paper. Now, it can be anything. This is going to be your mechanism on the inside that holds the card holders or the ephemera holder. I'm just going to use this piece of scrap paper because you're not going to really see it, okay? So I'm going to use this so we need a four by four inch piece. Now this is where it gets a little tricky, but we're going to do this together, guys, okay? So we're going to score this at a quarter inch. And then three quarters of an inch. And then one and one quarter. Then one and a half. Then two. Then two and a half. Two and three quarters. Three and a quarter. And three and three quarters. Okay, I'm gonna remove this now. Oh my goodness, you guys never see this. It's a plain table. Usually I have my Tim Holtz um, glass mat down. I really love it. So what we're gonna do with this is the little notches are where it's gonna sit on the paper and the larger notches are what's gonna fold up. Okay, so let me show you guys. Hopefully I crease this right. Uh, I had trouble with this last time. So I had trouble with this last time and I had to rescore it because I did not score it right. So let's see. If I scored it right this time. Oh, and it looks like I did whatever I did last time. Let me see. There we go. Okay. I got it all together now. Okay, the middle piece will be a little bit larger, okay? So now what we're going to do is, it looks a little crazy, but it all comes together once you glue the parts. So the two, the larger pieces that we're going to glue together, once you get those glued together, it really comes together, and you'll, you'll, you'll see it come together, and you'll understand it a little better, okay? So just put glue on the bigger pieces or double-sided tape. Okay, so now what it should look like is this. See, I told you guys it would come together. I thought I messed up on it, but I didn't. It should look like this. And this is our mechanism that's going to hold our cards. Now we're going to get our box. And 
and we're going to glue our mechanism down into the piece right here. It's probably best to glue this down so you have a little wiggle room to make sure that it fits. You just want to make sure it fits in there and that it closes, and mine does. So I'm going to push the center pieces down, and this is what it should look like, okay? Now, I'm going to get my cutting board back out. We're going to create the pockets, okay? Now, these pockets you want to fit into here. I haven't really decided. I didn't really get... I should have had other paper. I think this isn't going to be big enough. It's not. It's okay. I'm just going to use the same color paper um, just to give you guys an idea of how this works and comes together. So, what we're going to do is you're going to want your pocket to be four inches wide. Let me make sure I'm correct on that. Yes. And I actually measure mine to be just a little under four inches. Now you want it up and down to be under three inches, okay? Because you want it to fit in there just a little under three inches. And there's my first one. Now I want the front pocket to be shorter than the back pocket. Let me show you guys using this. I want it to be like, like this, okay? So I'm just going to cut mine about right there. I'm going to get my hole puncher. I'm going to put a little notch in it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on the back of the first mechanism. And we're going to glue the card down to it. Okay. So it should be like that. Okay. And then we're going to put glue on all three sides of the front piece. And we're going to glue it on the other side of the mechanism. It's kind of hard to see. So let me show you guys. See the sailboats? We're just going to glue it on the other side of that. So it covers the mechanism part up. And there we have our first pocket. I should have scooted that over a little bit, but anyways, it's already done. I really don't want my second pocket to be the same color. So, I think I might do sailboats in the middle, just to give it a little bit of a different color. So we want it a little under four inches. And then we want it just a little under three inches. And then we want the front to be a little smaller. We're going to put a little notch in it. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put glue on the back of the middle mechanism part that pops up. And we're going to put our first piece of our card or ephemera holder on there. Then we're going to put glue on all three sides of our front piece. And glue it to the front of the mechanism. I hope that's making sense. So now we have two card holders. Okay. Now I'm going to do my third pocket. We want it a little under three again. We want the front a little smaller. Put a notch in it. Now, I don't have nothing to decorate the inside of it with, but that's okay. Um, I'm just going to leave this white. You guys get the gist of how it's made. Um, I was just making the video to show you guys. This isn't really my type of um, project. I really like making junk journals. 
and I like to make stuff that I can put inside junk journals. But this is super neat to do as a gift or to add some ephemera into it and give it as a gift. It's just cute. It's a cute little idea. So what we would do next is we would decorate the inside of it. And I don't... I might be able to. Let's see. I doubt that I'll have enough though. I already know that I'm not, but what you would do is you would just decorate the inside of it to finish it off, decorate the backs of these, and if you use double-sided paper, then you won't have no white, and then decorate the front, okay, and that's how you make it, and we have our three card holders inside, we made that in under 10 minutes, so it's a cute little gift to give somebody a gift card in, or you could put some ephemera in it, or whatnot, so... Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It's just something quick and easy I wanted to share with you guys. Um, the finished product will look like this, of course, again. So I'll show you guys one more time. We open it up. Super cute, isn't it? I was looking at something different. I thought I did something. Sorry. Anyways, it's super cute, isn't it? So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, click to follow me. Also, I appreciate all comments. If you watch the video, just leave a heart in the comments. Um, it really helps me out. It helps grow my channel when you do that. Also, make sure to check out the description below as I have some information there for all of you. Thank you guys for supporting my channel and for supporting our group. And I hope that you guys have a lovely and wonderful day.